Hello, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Caitlin Hall, and I will be presenting the process of downloading GenBank files from the NCBI website to use a mutation surveyor software by Soft Genetics. This will be part of a series of short webinars that cover important features and frequently asked questions about the software. As we covered in the introductory webinar, GenBank files are one of three file types that you can load into the software. These files are essential for the mutation project for various reasons. They provide the reference information and annotation in the project, including mRNA information, exon coding information, the location of primer sites, and custom regions of interest defined by the user. They may contain variant information, including dbSNP information used to hyperlink to the NCBI website and any custom variations that are added by the user. They're also important for the creation of synthetic reference trace files. If you only load GemBank and sample trace files, the reference trace files are synthetically generated by mutation surveyor using the nucleotide string from the GenBank file and the peak intensities from the highest quality sample trace files. So this webinar will cover the basic process of downloading files as well as the three different accessions used in the program. GenBank files are commonly downloaded from the NCBI GenBank database. We can begin by navigating to the NCBI homepage in an internet browser. You can select the GenBank database by navigating to the drop-down arrow and selecting Gene. Once this is selected, type in your specific gene of interest for which you wish to download a GenBank file. In this example, I will search for BRCA1. Click Search, and any related results to your gene will appear with the specific species listed in brackets. When you have located your gene and species of interest, click on the hyperlink to navigate to the full report of the gene. The full report contains a large amount of information for the gene, including a gene summary, transcript information, and hyperlinks to related content. You can navigate through the information to access one of two accession types of GenBank files, NG and NC accessions. NG accessions usually contain a single transcript. Their nucleotide positions do not relate to chromosome coordinates, and their files have the ability to include dbSNP information. NC accessions often contain several transcripts. Their nucleotide positions relate to chromosome coordinates, but their files do not have the ability to include dbSNP information. The inclusion of chromosome coordinate information in mutations fair projects can be vital for NGS confirmation and are also required to utilize the user knowledge database optional feature. NG and NC accessions can easily be accessed by navigating to the transcript section and selecting the drop down arrow. Once the appropriate accession is selected, click on GemBank on the right of the page to navigate to the GemBank file information. All of the GenBank file information will be displayed in the browser, and you'll have a few options to change the file to suit your needs. The first option on the right of the screen enables you to change the range of nucleotide sequence of the file. If you are interested in the promoter region of a gene, you can extend the region by entering the appropriate range and clicking Update View. You also have the option to customize the view by adding dbSNP information or reverse complementing your GenBank file. To add dbSNP information to the GenBank file, check the box to show SNPs and click Update View.
If you wish to reverse complement your sequence, check the box and click Update View. This is useful for genes located on the minor strand, and it can be used to orient the ATG start site in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. Mutations Fair is able to handle either orientation and includes options to display minor strand genes in either chromosome or gene direction. When you are ready to download the file, navigate to the Send option at the top of the page. Select File under the Choose Destination option. Make sure GenBank is selected for the file type and click Create File. The file will save with the default file name of sequence.gb to the folder you have specified for downloads. You can navigate to this folder and rename the file accordingly, or copy the file to another folder you've created for GenBank files. The process is similar for NC accessions, with the difference being that NC accessions do not have the option to include dbSNP information. The accession type that we need to cover is the NT accession. NT accessions are the type stored in the database that Mutation Surveyor accesses when downloading GenBank files using the default project settings. They contain all of the available transcripts for the gene, and their nucleotide positions relate to chromosome coordinates. When downloaded by the software, these files contain dbSNP information. This has been a short webinar on downloading GenBank files. When your file is downloaded, it is now ready for use in Mutation Surveyor. You may also load the file in our Advanced GBK File Editor tool to choose specific transcript information and add custom annotation. If you are interested in learning more about the unique features of Mutation Surveyor, I encourage you to view our other webinars. For more information or for a free 35-day trial of the software and other soft genetics products, please visit www.softgenetics.com or send an email to info at softgenetics.com. For technical support questions, please send an email to tech underscore support at softgenetics.com. Thank you so much for watching.